Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So, in the previous lecture we have discussed the very important theorem about the singular value decomposition of a given matrix. So, today in this lecture we will do some, uh, we will take the help of uh, MATLAB or Octave and then we will see that how we can find out the singular value decomposition of a given matrix. So, in the previous lecture you see then we are able to take the singular value decomposition for the given matrix and then we have found the value of the matrix V and then we found the value of matrix U and then using this Gram Smith process we are able to find U 3, but this U 3 I can find with the help of uh, the linear algebra what I can do is that. So, I have a matrix we have started with the matrix 1 1 0 1 1 0. So, this is my matrix and then we find the value of u 1 and u 2 that belongs to the column space of A. And we also know that the column space of A, so this is my column space of A and this is my null space of A transpose and they are orthogonal to each other. So, I can say that my U 3 I can choose from null space of A transpose and that will be perpendicular this one. So, this one I can find from so, now I can take the A transpose. So, A transpose will be this is 1 0 1 1 1 0 and I am taking from here. So, its value will be x y z and it should be 0 0 0 and from here you will see that I will get x plus z equal to 0 and x plus y equal to 0 and both the things gives you y is equal to z because if I take this minus this. So, g to be z minus y equal to 0. So, y equal to z and from here I can get my x as minus of z or I can have x is minus of y. Now, from here I can choose my vector u 3 as my y and z should be same and x should be minus of that. So, suppose I take here 1 1 and it should be minus 1 and then I have to normalize. So, I will divide by root 3. So, this is I get the u 3. So, the same u 3 I have taken here. So, that is also we can find out within a Gram Smith process, but we can do this by this way also. So, now we are able to find my u 3. So, let us uh, start that how we can verify that we whatever we have done is right or wrong. So, let us take the help of uh, octave. Now, in octave I just start with the matrix A. So, this matrix I am writing. So, I am writing here 1 1 and then 0 1 and then I am taking 1 0. So, this is my matrix. You can see from here that I can find the rank of this matrix A. So, this rank is 2. Now, from here I can find out the value of a transpose A. So, this is my matrix. So, I have to write here star multiplication. So, this is my matrix A transpose A. Now, I can find the Eigen values of A transpose A and the corresponding Eigen vector also. So, I will write a one. So, I will V and I find its 
diagonal matrix D. So, I let us I write this is equal to E i g eigen value of my answer. So, whatever the answer I got. So, by using this one I can find the eigen values and the corresponding the matrix made up of eigen vectors. So, if you see from here this is my eigen values 1 and 3 and this is the corresponding eigen vector and we also found the eigen vector for v 1 I got 1 by square root 2. So, if you see if I find 1 by square root of 2, so I get 0 0.701. So, I got this value it means that the eigen value of is 3 and the corresponding eigen vector is 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2 and corresponding to 1 eigen value the eigen vector is minus 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2. So, this one we can take. So, the same thing we got if you see from here I got this value. So, here V 2 we have taken minus sign here, but in this we got this minus sign and this one. So, that does not matter. So, we can also take minus sign here. Okay, so, this way we can find out. So, this is ok, because this value is equal to same point 707 that one I can write only. 0 0.707, 0 0.707 because it will give you the numerical value only. So, this is the way we are able to find the value of V and this is the value of D. Now, I need to find the value of U. So, I told you that let us see what is going to happen if I take A star A transpose. So, this is my matrix 3 by 3 matrix and if I want to find the eigen value of this. Then you will see that its eigen value will be 0, 1 and 3 because the it is of order 3 by 3. So, eigen values for A transpose A is 3, 1. So, in that case we will get the 0 eigen value more and now I can write down these things and I can write from here. So, now I can uh, diagonalize this value, this matrix. So, I will write my u here, u and then maybe I can write d 1 d 1 and that is equal to I write eigen of a star a transpose. <clears throat> so, this is the values I got. So, now from here you can see that matrix is this one. So, for the co corresponding eigen value 3 eigen value I get 3 this vector and this vector is uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 and if you see from here I got the value of u is first u I got this value 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6, 1 by root 6. So, if you see from here I just check what is the 1 by root square root square root of 6. So, 0.4. So, it means it is 0.4, it is 0.4 and it is 2 times 0.4. So, I got the value of this vector this value. Then another one I should get my u 2. So, u 2 is 0 and this value. So, let us see what is here. So, here also this is point minus 19 minus 17 means its value is 0. Otherwise, it is minus 1 by root 2 and this is plus 1 by root 2 corresponding to 1. And the last value we have found this one is minus 1 by root 3 and if you see from here that is corresponding to 0 eigen value and this is my 0 0.5. So, if I take 1 by square root of 3, 
So, this is the value 0 0.57 and I got this value here 0 0.57 here. So, in this case I got this value and so now we are sure that whatever the calculation we have done for finding these values of u and v they are right. Now, there is a one command directly for finding the SVD. Now, from here if you see let us check what is going to happen if I multiply u. So, this is the u I got. u star. Now, sigma I have to take. So, sigma is as I told you that sigma is the matrix. So, I just write let us I define sigma A. So, that matrix will be so lambda 1 and lambda 1 is 3. So, I can write from here that it will be equal to square root 3 and then 0. After that I can write here 0 and 1 and it should be of the same dimension. So, I can write from here it should be 0 and then 0. So, this is my sigma a. So, now if I take u multiply by sigma a and multiply by the v I have taken. So, I just take the transpose and let us see what is going to happen. So, this is so now I have to find my a we got u this is my v I got and I got this value it is 3 cross 2. So, let us see I will write S V D. So, this is the direct command I can have. So, I can just check by this way. So, I can write my u here then sigma I just by s and then I will write v and I put s v d of the matrix A. So, here I can directly I can write. So, now from here I got my u. So, let us see whether u is going to be same or not. So, this is my u and I think I got the same u only change in signs. So, this sign actually it changes because we take the sign depending upon the orthogonality and sometimes this change of sign will when we multiply it it gives the different results as we are getting in this. But other things you will see that it is going to be the same. So, u value u is same as this u is minus 8 minus 4 minus 4 and we have seen that u is 8 4 4. So, just we have taken the negative sign. Other things diagonal element matrix I already told you it will be 1.7 root 3 1 0 and v is same as we have taken. So, minus minus so it is coming here this is so, in this case it should be minus minus and it should be plus minus. So, that is there it is minus minus and plus minus. So, negative of that one they have taken. So, let us see that now if we so, my u and v has changed now. So, my u is I will take this multiply by s and multiply by v transpose and I get this value. So, this is the same matrix that we got 1 1 0 1 1 0. 
So, that is the same value we have got. Here I was getting something different because now we have to take care about the, the sign of the vectors. So, sometimes if you do that one you get some different values of the solution and that is what is happening in this case. But otherwise the everything is uh, completely right except that the uh, some change in signs. So, these things we can do now we can apply some other examples and see that how we can do the SVD for other matrices. Now, let us take another matrices. So, I just write clear all. So, it will clear. Now, I can define my some different matrix. Suppose, I take the matrix A and I just take it maybe I just take matrix 1, 1, 2, 3 and then I will take 0, 1, 2. So, let us take this matrix. It is 2 cross 3 matrix. Now, I want to find about what is going to happen in this case if I take the S. So, just I take U and then I will write S and then I will take V and I will write is equal to S V D of the matrix A. So, this is my matrix. Now, my U is 2 cross 2, V is 3 cross 3 and its eigenvalues you will if you see from here then I just write A, I just find let us see what is going to happen. So, I just write uh, I take maybe I will write corresponding to A transpose A. So, I write V t, V t means V corresponding tra transpose and D t, I just write that one. And this one equal to I write eigen values of A transpose star A. So, let us see what is going to happen here. So, this is my A transpose A that is 3 cross 3 matrix of course, it will be 3 cross 3 and this is the 3 Eigen values. So, it is 1.8 10 to power 1. So, 1.18 and this is 0.3 and this is 0. So, one Eigen value is 0 because the rank is 2. If you see the matrix A, its rank is 2. So, one Eigen value has to be 0 in this case as it was 0 in the previous case for u. So, one Eigen value should be 0 and this is the value we got. Now, it is the same thing I can check for u. So, let us see what I get for u and maybe I can write as d 1 and this is a, a transpose. Oh. I get this value, this one. So, it will be 2 cross 2 and the Eigen value will be same 0 0.32 and 18 and this is my corresponding matrix. So, now in this case also if you see the everything is written differently. Yeah, so in the previous case if you see the u and v. Now, if you see from here the u we have written here in this fashion and the the Eigen values are given to us with the ordering that it is the maximum order then the smallest one. But if you see from here taking A transpose A. In this case, the Eigen values are written in the that this is a 0, then it is 0 0.32 and this one. So, that is why in the previous case when we multiplied it was changing the order. Similar case is here. 
it is 0.3 and 0.18. So, that is why we have to keep in same order that highest power and the lowest power. So, that is why if you see in the previous example, we were not able to get the same eigenvalue or same matrix, but here we are able to do that. So, now from here you can see that now if I take my u multiply by s and then multiply by v transpose, I get this matrix that is 1, 2, 3 and 0, 1, 2. So, this is the matrix I have started with, this is. So, we got the same matrix using this value. Now, so let us see that what is, what went wrong in the previous example. So, let us see that one, because now we are able to see that why it was not coming. So, let us take A is same as the previous one, it was 1, 1 and then 0, 1 and then 1, 0. <coughs> then we found our value of u that, so I will take this here. So, we got the value of, first I will write down the value of v1 and v2. So, v1 and v2 is this one, I will write like this one. So, let us now I take v is equal to, v1 is 1 by square root 2 and let us copy it, because the same value I have to write. This is the control C. Now, I will write here. control V. So, this is and so this is our first one 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 and this is again 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2. So, I can write control V and minus sign control V. So, this matrix I got this is my V. So, this is the V we have taken. Now, I will write down my sigma So, sigma we have taken sigma of A, so that is equal to I can write, so it was square root of 3, then its value was 0, then its value is 0 and then 1 and then its value was 0, 0, because it should be of order 3 cross 2. this is my sigma and u we have taken. So, my u was, now we should write u, <coughs> this one, 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6, let us see what is going to happen here. So, first I will write 2 by square root 6 and now I will copy this one. control C. So, this one I will just write it is 1 here, it is 1 here. So, this is the first one. Then the second one is in this case, it is 0 minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. 0 minus 1 by 2 and 1 by square root 2. So, this is the second one and the third one if you see this was 1 minus 1 by root 3 and other things are same. 
So, I will take minus 1 by square root of 3 and this one I can take, I will copy control C. So, I will write down control V, control V. This is my U. No, no, we have to write as a column vector. So, I think we should write U as U transpose. Yeah, now it is okay. 0 minus this, this, yeah. So, that should be the u. So, I think v also we have to write. So, v should be also v transpose, yeah, this one. Because see, we have to write in the column. First column should be 2 by root square root 6, 2 by root uh, 1 by root square, and 1 by this one. Then it is 0 minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, and this is minus 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3. The similar is 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, minus 1 by root 2. So, this is okay now. So, now we can uh, take the multiplication u star and then I will write sigma. I just write here in this and then I take star and then v transpose. And now, we get this value. So, this matrix is same as our matrix A, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, if you see now, it is coming same. So, everything is okay in the previous example, whatever the example we have done in this case. So, it is verified now that we are getting this value. So, from here, we are able to see that my u sigma v transpose it is giving my a. So, whatever we have done is completely right. So, this way we can take any matrix, we have taken 2 by 3, we have taken 3 by 3 matrix, maybe I can take some other matrix maybe I can take a very big matrix that is I just take 0, 1, 2, 3, 5 and then. So, this is my first row and maybe I can take the second row as 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 second row and in the third row I can take 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So, this matrix I have taken. So, it is 3 cross 5 matrix. So, this matrix we have taken. Now, I can find out is SVD directly. So, this is U S V I can write down as <coughs> SVD of the matrix capital A and this is the corresponding SVD. Now, you can see that my u is 3 cross 3 and diagonal matrix is now 3 cross 5. So, it was 3 cross 5. So, 3 cross 5. So, this is my corresponding singular values, the largest one and then the next and the next and this is my corresponding V. So, in this case A transpose A is a 5 cross 5 matrix and it is going to have 5 eigenvalues. So, 2 eigenvalue be 0 because in this case if you see the rank of A is 3 and if I want to find the eigenvalues of A transpose star A. So, it will be 0 0 and 0.4, 1.5 and 42. So, you can see from here. So, it is a 5 eigenvalue and 2 eigenvalue be 0. So, the remaining eigenvalue so that we have seen that this will be the 3 eigenvectors 
that is non zero and two eigen vector will be zero and then from here we can find the eigen values similarly i can find the check the eigen values of a star a transpose star and this eigen value is the same except the 0 0 so there is no 0 0 eigen value there and then we can find the value of corresponding eigen vectors and then if you see then this is my u s and v directly i can take with the help of inbuilt function in the matlab or octave and that it gives me the svd and you can also verify by solving on with the pen and paper and then you can do the multiplication in this case so you will also be able to get the same result so this is the way actually we can find out the the svd for a various value various matrices with the help of octave so now we'll stop here so in the today's lecture we have just taken the help of matlab or octave to verify that whatever the calculation we have done to find out the singular value decomposition is whether right or wrong and we found that the whatever the multiplication whatever the calculation we have done is quite right and then we have compared it with the inbuilt function that is svd function and we found that both the cases we are getting the same result so you can just it is just the introduction that how we can manipulate the with the help of octave and you can play with this one and you can find out the svd or the eigen values of different different type of matrices you can take and then you can verify the results uh, for a given uh, matrix to find the uh, svd so i hope that uh, you enjoyed this lecture uh, thanks for watching